A dark cloud hangs over the community of North Andros as search and recovery efforts were officially terminated today. And as the community mourns, the Prime Minister spent a few hours with the families of those crash victims, offering words of encouragement and condolences. Altabee's Munnings reports. Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnes arrived in North Andros right before noon on Friday and traveled to the administrator's office to meet with the families of the victims of this week's plane crash. Still distraught from the ordeal, the family members held hands and waited patiently to hear from the Prime Minister. To the only wise God and Savior, be honor and majesty, dominion and power. Prayers were lifted and songs of praise filled the air inside the room. Fighting back tears, the member of parliament for North Andros and the Berry Islands, Carlton Boleg, who grew up in this tight-knit community, personally knew the majority of the crash victims. For you, because the pain that you feel, I feel that. I grew up and I know personally every one of them. As a matter of fact, I had a special assembly here on, on Monday, and the mother and daughter on that plane were two of the last people I greeted before I left that assembly. One of the most difficult passages we have in the Word of God is, in all things, give God thanks. We can't fathom the strength to speak about thanks, but God says in, in His Word that blessed are those that mourn, for they shall. Be comforted. Prime Minister Minnis greeted and offered condolences to every family member who attended Friday's meeting. He encouraged the Androsians to lean on God during this time of bereavement. As the government of Bahamas, we would continue to support the family as much as we can. We know that there may possibly be a memorial um, sometime next week and be assured that um, as many as my cabinet colleagues as possible will be here to show their support also. We will have counselors um, here in your community um, as early as next week where we would um, be available both for you and for the school. Remain for him, remain steady, and let us all continue to pray and ask for God's blessing. Kermit Adderley is the husband of crash victim Margaret Adderley. They've been a couple for 35 years, married for 17 of those years with two children. He says he wouldn't trade his wife for anyone else and thanked his family and in-laws for their unwavering support. I dropped her to the airport on Wednesday morning. Um, after I dropped my son off on the bus, I dropped her to the airport. Uh, she didn't say goodbye. Uh, she just went, went on the plane and that was it. You know. I need to see Taisha. She had called me after for anything because... Uh, the plane didn't reach its final destination. Uh, got a call from the police station asking if I hear anything. Uh, I, my niece had called me. Uh, so they said it was going to check in the Fresh Creek because the, the plane had lost radar. Uh, Calling the Fresh Creek, South Andrews and Mangrove Creek to see if the plane went up that side. Uh, then my Uncle Bambu came. I said, Come in. Uh, I guess you heard by now. Uh, let's see if we get a boat to see. Based on the coordinates we, I've gotten from David, um, let's go there, see if we could find anything. But apparently the tide was too low, we can get no boat off. I believe had we was able to get any boat off, we would have probably been able to find more remains than what the police officers have found. I guess once we continue to pray and eventually, like I say, I know it's not going to you know, go in one day, but I'm trying to cope. I'm trying to be strong, but I'll see the best I could do. The Prime Minister promised the families of the crash victims that he will return here to North Andros once he returns to the Bahamas from his trip to Texas next week to further offer condolences. Reporting from North Andros, I'm Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.